All right, it is time to go through Ilos and then I oh, can wear the human armor too. Oh, interesting. Don't think I had any quarry in. No. Yeah, which, uh, which weapons does Tally use? Oh, she only uses the shotgun and the pistol. Tally, go to shotgun. All right, so now, up. Oh, we're already getting started with the firefight. Come on, ladies, let's go. Cat wants to jump up onto my desk, and I got my coffee right next to me. I'm trying to make sure she doesn't knock anything over. Oh, I thought I hit the... There we go. Move, move, move! I do not remember that being there. What did you think that, like, shield was gonna do? I still had a... I had the high ground, Geth. And I was able to kill you. Oh, there's two of them. And Liar is dead. Oh, this is doing some damage. just stopped and like looked at me I, I thought he was like frozen all right that that was a bit of a fail oh shit no scoped him Liara, you right there. Pally, you right there. shooting me.
Come to me, guys. of this world was a little weird. I don't even think I'm going in the right place. Yeah, this isn't even where I'm supposed to be at. Maybe this way. Yeah, I remember the, the layout of this part was a little confusing to me. Did we say that these were Protheans, or are these uh, completely different? Because they don't look like Protheans. Like what they showed in Mass Effect 3. Unless they are supposed to be Prothean, but they underwent like a... I don't know, like a change or something. Because they didn't really have an idea of what they actually looked like. Funny. I knocked the uh, carton back and it hit him. Where did he come from? I thought there was another guy over Take here. Hostiles. What hostiles? I don't see any. Perfect time to talk. Hi, Mia. So glad you could join me. But I can't see anything because you're standing in the way. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown. I'm gonna make sure, yeah. Inside that bunker. It was like pushing herself up against my mic. I didn't want her to unplug anything. If I unplugged my mic and I didn't notice me, I'd be very upset. Uh. 
Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna need uh, my crew back. Leave my game again. So yeah, 10 hours for Mass Effect 1, that seems about right. Mass Effect 2 will probably take me like double. No, there you go. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. You can't understand it? The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It's too damaged. It said something about the conduit. But it's too degraded to help. We should go. We cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. There we go. You ladies are watching my back, so I'll watch yours. No, now I can go through the, uh, the Mako. Me, I vote. Let's go. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Seren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. 
I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tr Oh, why'd you cut Liara off? What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! Not a trap. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. Vigil. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. What are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. I don't have time for this. Saren could be at the conduit right now. We have to go. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Citadel as a Relay. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Reapers and Dark Space. How do the Reapers survive out in Dark Space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. 
Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. You didn't surrender? The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Why do they do this? What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien. Unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Why did the Reapers leave? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. How can I stop them? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the Relay Network. The Conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Go on. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You were cowards. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? It was necessary. You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. 
My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. The Keepers? Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. How can they come back? Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Not this time. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Sovereign. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. They could just attack. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. Let's move. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. There's no time. We're in a race to save the galaxy, and you want to play Q&A with a hologram? You are right. <laughs> I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. It kind of sucks. All those scientists that, that are woken. There is no way for them to sustain their society. And even if they you know, were able to like reproduce, it probably wouldn't really matter anyways. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. 
They failed. Just like my people. But they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry. Let's go. Very sharp turn, but there we go. Now it's a race against time. Save my game right there just in case. Out of the way. There it is. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Here comes Sovereign and the Geth. Do it closing. Hang on, things are going to get a little rough. Say that again. Go. Across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Go the battle for the citadel. 
I'm going to cut it right now and then we'll finish the very last mission in the next episode. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.